What's up guys? Oh, Kylie so with KiwiBox.com. Once again, outside of the KiwiBox offices. Today we're here with singer-songwriter Justin Nozuka. How are you feeling? I'm feeling wonderful. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. So good. Let me bring it back a little bit. What was the first song you ever wrote and recorded? It would have had, had to be. It was actually probably a co-write. I was working with this guy named G. Stokes. He was a producer and a rap artist in, in Toronto. And uh, I was doing projects with my brothers at the time. So we, we were doing this thing. I was, it was called Brothers Love. Okay. And uh, we recorded this song called Those Girls. Your debut album, Holly, just came out in the United States this past April. Yeah. How long did it take to lay down that album? Lay it down. Uh, lay it down. Uh, to, yeah, it took uh, probably all together uh, maybe like two weeks. Two and a half weeks or so. Um, we did it in a period of time of like two months, but you know, if you counted all the hours, it would have probably been like two weeks. What's been your favorite place to play? Favorite location? Favorite location. Um, I've had quite a few highlights uh, playing live. Um, we played this one show in Birmingham in the UK, and uh, that was a special show for us. Uh, we just played a show in Boston. That was special as well. And uh, Hawaii was special, really special. Um, in Honolulu. A lot of your songs were written about romantic experiences. Being that you're on the road so often, is there much time for relationships? Um, relationships are tough, you know, it's hard for me to keep in touch with my family and friends back home, you know, because you're always in a new place every time. It's hard to get internet sometimes, so it's, it's definitely difficult, you know. So writing, writing inspiration comes from, from other things, you know what I'm saying? And, more recently, I've been writing less about love and more about, you know, scenarios and, you know, stories and stuff like that, yeah. You're currently touring with the Gabe Dixon Band right now. Actually, you have a concert later tonight. How's it been going so far? It's been wonderful so far. Everybody on the bus is really nice. Gabe Dixon Band are great. Jay Nash, who's opening before okay. us, is amazing. Um, musically, it's just, it's something we're not very used to um, touring with musically inclined acts, you know. Um, we did a tour with Eric Hutchinson and Amari Digby before this tour, which was pretty amazing. But, uh, you know, these guys, Gabe Dixon Band, are, are pretty inspirational. Well, you've already accomplished so much, and you just recently graduated from high school. Do you have any plans to attend college in the near future? Never. Never? <laughs> no, I may be, actually. I don't know. I may, I may, I may take courses in the future. You know, if I'm interested in something, but right now I'm just I'm focusing on music. I'm focusing on you know songwriting and just sort of applying myself to the craft and you know setting things up. You know. Have you wrote any songs or recorded any other songs for your next album? Yeah, the next album's finished. Done. Not recorded yet, but finished in my head, and uh, should be recorded probably in November or December. When can we expect the album? Um, I have no idea at this point. You know, I'm still working Holly and, and sort of just riding the wave out, you know, so it may take a minute, but we'll see. You're extremely talented, nonetheless. What's next for you after the tour wraps up? Um, I'm going to go to Japan and do some promo and some shows there. And then, um, and then I'm going to be hopefully recording in November. So um, that'll be, you know, the plan at this moment, you know. Do you know any Japanese? Chotto, skoshi. Chotto sushi? <laughs> What did you say? Chotto skoshi. What's that mean? That means little bit, yeah, little. little Chotto bit. and skoshi are the same thing. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Got a little to learn. You got a skoshi to learn. Well, thank you for coming out here today. Thank you for having it's me on the roof. It's been a pleasure to have you. Oh, I appreciate it. It's been a pleasure to be here on the roof.